on a thousand kilometer march to New Delhi. These protesters from the remote northern region of Ladakh say they will walk for 30 days to the Indian capital to demand their territory be given the right to govern itself. They also want more protection for the region's tribal areas. The future of our children and Indian decision-making process, our futures are at stake. That's why we, it's a gentle reminder to the Modi government uh, to restore his promise, to give his promise to, by granting six rule for Ladakh, a restoration of statehood for Ladakh. The Himalayan area was carved out of Indian administered Kashmir five years ago. But the Indian government decided to run the region from New Delhi. Ladakh activists want that to change. Currently there's no democratic platforms to manage this region. The management of the region has no public representatives elected by the people, either at the macro level, that's the state level, or at the micro level at uh, villages. The central government in New Delhi has formed a committee to look into the region's demands and held several rounds of talks with leaders from the area. But the talks collapsed in March without success. Analysts say the government should resume the talks. Ladakh is a very critical area. You know, we believe that it's a very sensitive area. It holds a very significant, huge importance for the national security. It is important that the government keeps the uh, uh, people of Ladakh in their good books. In recent years, the region which borders China and Pakistan has witnessed several rounds of protests calling for autonomy. And these protesters hope this latest demonstration will force the government to grant their demands. Hamza Muhammad, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.